We've grown leaps and bounds in terms of our sales force and our folks out in the market. We've opened new markets in Chicago, in San Francisco, in Los Angeles. We've also uh, financially grown triple digits in terms of percentage of top line and the EBITDA is just spectacular. Our investors are very, very happy. We call home the, the simplified version of targeting audiences for television viewers. So what we do is we aggregate unsold or remnant airtime across 1,200 different media partners, cable networks, the MVPDs, and local broadcasters. We're bringing those folks a seat at the table to national brand marketers and their respective agencies to say, hey, we've got incredibly valuable audiences here. Come and get them. So in, in the auspice of that, addressable TV is kind of the, the big talk of the town right now. Where do you guys, how do you, what's your lens on addressable? Sure, I, it's sort of a love-hate relationship. I love addressable television. I think it's really cool that you can hyper-target. What I hate about it is too small. In, in our business, we have veered away from addressable by design because there's enough of these audiences that are still out there that you can't get at the household particular level that market is looking to reach. And I can do that very cost effectively for them. So what is that what is that challenge that doesn't allow them to get to scale with addressable that you guys can obviously do? Well some of the MVPDs just are not sharing the data or that the, the marketplace is just not there yet in terms of aggregating all the addressable households. There's a lot of piecemeal opportunities and to put them all together and make it scalable still is you know, 12 to 18 months out. And do you think, so that actually is my next question, do you think in 12 to 18 months, do you think you, know, you see some of these things with uh, you know, Dish and Direct even coming together and working together to, to share some information for the mutual benefit? Um, does that change your business or does It'll that... complement our business, but we'll play in that space as well. But I've sort of taken a step back saying, okay, let me just watch that happen. And in the interim, monetize all this inventory that's not readily addressable, especially in the local broadcast community. And as that becomes more addressable, already have the systems and the pipes put together to enable them to do that. So why is that, why is that inventory available today in the local markets? Because the, the local markets have been very insulated. They've been working a locally based, locally placed mindset. What I'm bringing to them is the nationally based mindset of here's an incremental reach and frequency you can get from their viewing audiences. And is that something that you are getting like really good positive feedback from the buy side where they're happy to get like lots of smaller numbers that when you add them together become a huge number? Is that kind of the impetus? That is, especially if you can aggregate them simply for them. So there's not a lot of heavy lifting on their side. So for us, it's you give us a single insertion order, we'll reach out to our 1200 different unique media partners and bring you back a singular audience in scale. And that audience, uh, is there segmentation modeling done around that or are you using traditional? We're using traditional Nielsen monitored and measured demographics. Okay. And for the time being, I mean, especially when it comes to that, I mean, that's the medium. Still, that's the right? me it works. That's why we're growing so well because we can deliver that and deliver it in a third party verification as Nielsen. And all our markets say, hey, I love that. That works really well for us. So what's the, if you had to pick one thing in the next 12 months that you think will be most disruptive or most complimentative of the space, what do you think it'll be? I think it's just more participants recognizing and acknowledging there's something happening here in the television space and I want to be part of it.